So, this is a basic dual drive base that I'm going to be using for several projects that are coming up that I think you're going to find interesting so you'll probably want to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll know when they come out. But basically this platform will allow you to take the standard inexpensive dual drive DC motor and you'll see there's a notch place that will fit in and then that fits in real snug that way. And you can use a single screw to then pin the motor in place which I'm trying to stay on camera and do it at the same time in this case being in America I'm just using a 632 screw I think it's like 632 by 3 8 so this one might have been a half inch long but um, it'll thread right into the plastic and then hold that sucker right in there now if you're anywhere else in the world the holes go all the way through you could run a um, a number four or a 3.5 millimeter or whatever you got in there and put a nut and a bolt on either end or if you had one long piece of thread stock you could run it all the way through both motors and put a nut on each end whatever you want it's real simple the uh, wheel part you can see is here they have taken a rubber o-ring again I just buy the rubber o-ring kits that have all kinds of different sizes in there as you can see it's a, a double D slit to uh, to fit the motor. You can put this wheel on first before you put the motor in the frame, but it works either way. Then uh, this is a number two self-tapping, I believe by three eighths long. But again, whatever you've got that'll tap into the uh, opening in the end of the motor will work. It's just something to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall off like so then because you just have two wheels but you don't want the you want to be able to adjust it I took two screws this one just happens to be black anodized and this one's not but again uh, in America this is just a 632 it'll thread right in anywhere else in the world you can use any uh, screw you had whether it's you want a round head because that's gonna rub on the on the ground on your smooth surface but uh, you could put a nut there and a nut here if you had something that was smaller, you know, probably a number four would work, millimeter. And uh, these two posts are going to be for adding uh, control boards later in some of the other projects that I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to use this base for. But you could use this simple uh, dual drive base for any project. So obviously if you control these two motors, you could make this base go forward, backward turn left, turn right, or spin on a dime. Just all depends how you control the two motors. And again, that'll all be coming up in uh, in segments. The, um, kind of the, the robot projects I have in mind are kind of complicated and so I'm breaking them down into different little blocks. I'm going to do a, a, a sweet sequencer controller which can hook on top here and I'm going to be doing a bunch of other controllers, electromechanical devices. There are ways to do uh, sonic control, sound activation, um, even uh, wireless radio control, all without using ICs, semiconductors, transistors. There are electromechanical ways of doing these things, and I thought it'd be fun to explore those. So, step one is this dual drive base and stay tuned for more.